Hello, Instagram and YouTube. It is your boy, Jared. Coming from New Jersey. Uh, beautiful day today. It rained a lot last night. Um, but we got a beautiful, like, 75, 80 degrees here. So I'm feeling good, like I should, you know. Uh, we're going to go two stick variations today. We're going to spend a little time uh, on the pelvis and the hamstrings. And then adding in some rotation as well in some of the uh, standing hamstring series. All right. Uh, I'm in the karate studio that's attached to my facility. Uh, they're actually cleaning inside, vacuums going, so that would kind of be uh, in the way um, of you guys trying to hear me. All right, so we're gonna bring it in here. If I have to move back inside after them cleaning up, then we'll do that, but other than that, we'll get started. Hopefully it has some pretty good connection and then we can get going without any interruptions. Right. Mobilizations. Feet, shoulder width, get into the horse stance, go one stick. All right, it sticks at 12 o'clock, one inch in front of the toe line. Bring the hands even near sternum. Let's push down 40%. And now let's lift the right heel up as high as we can. We're gonna do five reps together, back down, driving the heel to the floor. And then we lift, high as we can, get into that big toe extension, working on plantar flexion of the ankle. Down slow. Maintain 40% effort, lift. Big toe and extension, ankle working in plantar flexion, down slow. Let's go two more, lift, high as we can, pelvis stays tucked, down slow, and now lift, and let's hold here, and now without moving the femur, let's shift our ankle toward three o'clock. So shift that heel for me over to your three, guys, toward pinky toe, and then back over to nine, toward that big toe, all right? Over to three, pinky toe, over to nine, big toe. I'm not gonna lie, these mats feel real good on my feet. Shift toward that pinky toe, three o'clock. Shift toward your nine, toward that big toe. And again, use that stick as your visual feedback. All right, we don't want that pelvis to shift. I just want the foot and the ankle to shift in that frontal plane. Okay, now let's bring that heel back to 12 o'clock. Now let's go clockwise, heel over to three, bring it down to six, over to nine, and then back to 12. As you perform these circles, you wanna keep all five toes on the ground. Six, nine, 12, let's go one more time. Three, six, nine, 12. Let's change directions here, counterclockwise, nine, Six, three, 12, so two more. Nine, six, three, 12, good. And then again, nine, six, three, 12. Let's bring the heel back down. Let's change hands. Stay in the horse stance, knees bent and pelvis sucked. Left heel up, down slow. Heel up and my ribs and hips connected. Down slow, driving both arms to the floor. Lift, big toe extension, down slow. Two more, lift. Remember when the heel goes to the floor, it's not passively dropping. I drive it down like I'm squishing the empty soda can. Lift, let's go one more after this, back down. And now let's lift, and now let's hold. And now let's shift our heel toward your nine o'clock, toward pinky toe, and then toward your three o'clock, now to your big toe. And again, toward that nine o'clock, pinky toe, three o'clock, big toe. Nine o'clock, pinky toe, three o'clock, big toe, two more. Nine o'clock, pinky toe, three o'clock, big toe, last one. Nine o'clock, pinky toe, and three o'clock big toe. Now let's go counterclockwise first. Over to your nine, down to your six, over to your three, up to your 12. Again, as we perform these circles, we wanna keep those five toes on the floor and stay in the horse stance. Six, three, 12. One more time in this direction. Three, three, six. Nine, 12, three, 
six, nine, 12. One more time. Three, six, nine, 12. Oh, see you're tucking the pelvis down slow lift down slow try to maintain a flat low back here no arch lift down slow well ankle crack lift down slow two more lift down slow last one lift now hold, shift both heels over to your nine. Shift both heels over to your three. Shift both heels over back to your nine. Shift both heels over to your three. Bring it back to your 12 o'clock. One clockwise circle. Three, six, nine, 12, nine, six, Three, 12, and lower the heel. Let's go two sticks, feet shoulder width, pelvic tilts. Anterior tilt, posterior tuck. Inhale, anterior tilt. Exhale, posterior tuck. Inhale, anterior tilt. Exhale, posterior tuck. Two more, inhale, anterior tilt, exhale, posterior tuck, ribs, hips connected. Inhale, anterior tilt, exhale, posterior tuck. Keep that posterior tuck, let's get feet one inch wider. Maintain posterior tuck, keep the hands here, bump to the left with the hips. Bump to the right. Bump to the left. And bump to the right. And bump to the left. And bump to the left. Squeeze left glute. Bring it back to center. Start posterior tuck, 12 o'clock. Let's go in circles now. Bump to three. Anterior tilt. Go to six. Posterior tuck. Bring it forward. Two more times in that same direction. Three. Six, nine, six, one, six. Now change directions. Over to nine first. Six, three, 12. Two more times. Three, 12. Last one, nine. Six, three, and 12. Bring one stick down. Let's go hands extended on the stick, knees bent, pelvis tucked. Let's just work on diagonal pendulums, pushing in both sides 40%. And now left hand's gonna win, bring right hand up, but do not rotate torso. Right hand wins, bring it down, reach the left hand straight back. Left hand wins, right hand comes up, retract the right shoulder blade. Right hand wins, bring it down, back to your left pocket. Up to the right shoulder, down to your left pocket, up to the left shoulder, right shoulder, down to the left pocket, One more time, up to the right shoulder, down to your left pocket, and now switch, right pocket first, up to left shoulder, down to the right pocket. Remember, lower back flat on this. Up to left shoulder, pushing in both sides. Down to the right pocket. Up left shoulder, should feel more of a stretch in your left pec and your left bicep. Down to the right pocket, feel a lot of stretch here now through your right bicep. Up to left shoulder. Down to the right pocket, straight back. Up, one more time, left shoulder, down, to the right pocket. Okay, going in, let's bring left hand to win first, right hand back, as far as you can, then rotate your shoulders, then rotate your hip, and then onto your back, big toe, squeeze the butt, and then push that right hand as far back as you can, 
Let's hold for five, four, three, all o'clock. And now right hand is gonna win. Now rotate your chest, but not your hips. Now rotate your hips, not your foot. Now your foot rotates up, squeeze that right glute, and then push that left hand back as far as you can. Then back to center. Now let's go in our kayaks. Let's go top, right shoulder first, down left pocket, left hand up, down right pocket, up to down, up stream. So we're in the kayak and we're working our way forwards. The stick is always maintaining connection with my chest, pushing in as I go forward. Maintain the connection with the stick in the chest. Hands pull apart as I make these kayaks, these figure eights. All right, that's so that skull. Let's so work in that cervical spine. Retract the head back to the stick. Pull apart in the hands. Rotate to your right as far as you can. Rotate now to your left as far as you can. Pull apart the hands still. Rotate to your right. We'll bring it back into my office. Appreciate the patience, guys. My landlord had scheduled some cleaning. Wow. I didn't know. So again, stick face to the skull. Now let's push in on the hands. Rotate to your right as far as you can. Back to your left as far as you can. And again, as far as you can to the right, pushing in with the hands. And rotate back to your left as far as you can. Good, he's off. Two sticks now. Standing hip series. Feet one inch apart. Six run 11 and one. Hands even your shoulders. Let's lift it to the top of the grip. And now external rotation. And now let's push 10 seconds, 60%. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Knee in center, internal rotation. And now push, rotating out into the stick. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, knee in center, lift one inch, rotate across, and now push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee in center, rotate, and now push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knee in center, last one, end range, rotate across, push for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, internal, push, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, ease off, lower the leg. Now left leg, right above the grip, external rotation, and now push, rotating into the stick more for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knee in center, internal, push for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, lift one inch, and now rotate. 10, always 60%, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Internal push, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, lift. Rotate and push for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Internal push for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off, lower the leg. Moving to Captain Morgan's, feet are still one inch apart. Six at right hand, 12, left hand at 10. Let's go arms extended now. Make sure the hip and the shoulder are facing 12 o'clock. And now let's lift that left leg up so it's above the grip, one inch. Make sure the knee is over the ankle. And now let's compress that 12 o'clock stick and now let's push in. Let's go in 10 seconds, still 60%. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, keep pushing, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Open the gate. Now push back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's close the gate. Lift one to two inches. Push 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open the gate. Keep the knee at the same level. Push back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Close the gate. Lift and range. Push for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open the gate. Push 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Close the gate first and lower the leg. Left hand 12, right hand 2. Right leg lifts, an inch over the grip, pushing in with the right leg hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open the gate, push back. 10, 9, remember left hip and shoulder now face forward. 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Close the gate. Lift one inch. Push. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open the gate. Push. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Close the gate. Lift and range. Push. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open. Push back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Close the gate. Lower the leg. Moving on now to the Vitruvian Man, which is again one of my favorites. Feet one inch apart. Stick are even to your midfoot. And let's go 12 inches to the side. So we're at nine and three. The hands are even to your shoulders. Ribs and hips connected. So bracing the trunk. Let's go right leg out to the side. Let's go at 70%, pushing out into the stick. Hold for 10, trying to recruit more motor units in that right hip as we push through the stick. Okay, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Ease off. We're gonna first work on overcoming contractions, and then the next time we'll go into our lift offs. Okay, left leg out to the side. Same thing, mid foot. Now push 70%. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ease off. Now 70% again, but now after our 10 second hold, we're going to lift as high as you can and then push back in, uh, into the stick. 
And then we're gonna go behind the stick and push forward. We're gonna do that for six seconds each side. So we're gonna first lift for 10, or push in for 10, then lift for six. All right, all together. Into the stick, and now push for 10, nine, eight, make sure posterior tuck in the pelvis, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg in front, lift, high as we can, and now push back, stay tall on the opposite side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Break down slow, break behind, lift, push forward, hold for six, five, four, three, two, one. Down nice and slow, change legs. Left leg now, again, 10 seconds. We push into the stick, overcoming, then we lift. Meet the stick here, push 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in front, lift. Push back. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down slow, bring it behind, lift, push forward. 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Break it down. Let's go into monkey hang 90 90s first, okay? I feel like we're all gonna need that right now. So let's bring it to the floor here. So left leg external, right leg internal. So left leg's forward, right leg's back. Grab the stick, place it next to the hip, and six inches to the side. Reach up. Nasal breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. Let's get comfortable here. We're gonna do five reps with a 10 second push. But for right now, for 20 seconds, we're gonna nasal breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, not from the chest, get, get more parasympathetic response. Doing a video, a live video, I'm just, I'm sorry. Good, now let's push down, 50% effort, into the ground with the stick two, driving down to the floor, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, ease off. Still stay in that stretch, okay? I was one down, four more to go. After you do these, 90, 90 monkey hangs, we'll get to the uh, to the feet and go into that hamstring series. Okay, set two, pushing down. Try to think about that back leg and hip driving to the floor a little bit harder, okay? Hold, 60%, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees off, 70% for number three. And begin, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Really jut back hip into the ground, 2, 1, ease off. If you can, reach up a little bit higher as well. Okay, number four, should feel a good QL and last stretch as well on the left side, as well as that posterior capsule on the right side. All right. 80% push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ease off. One more. Let's go to your safest max effort. Packing the shoulder down, push the stick to the floor, and then driving the legs into the ground. We'll go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Ease off. Walk that hand down. Good. 
And now let's change sides. Right leg forward, left leg is back. Right leg external, left leg internal. Taking the stick next to your hip and reaching up. Same thing, going five reps. 10 second holds, starting at 50. 20 second first, initial hold, nasal breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. Okay, so first rep, 10 second hold, 50. Push down, pat the shoulder, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ease off. Next one's gonna be at 60%. As you rest, again, bring it back down to your nasal breathing, passive stretch. If you can, reach up a little higher on the stick to get a little more length on this lateral line over here on the right side. All right, 60%, push. 10, nine, eight, as you push down, you should get taller. Driving that back hip down to the floor, squeeze up the left glute. Right leg, drive straight down to the floor. Three, two, and one, knees off. Next one, 70%. Rep three. Increase the grip. All right, here we go. Pack the shoulder, push into the floor. 70%. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ease off. Nasal breathing. Next one, 80%, and push. Compress the stick down to the floor, pack that shoulder, sitting up tall, driving that back leg into the ground. Squeeze that glute, drive front leg into the ground. 80%, so we're firmly pushing down here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ease off, and now we're at 90. Next rep, last rep here. All right, here we go, last one, and push. 10, 90%, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, and off. Let's bring to the feet, go on standing, hamstring stretch. We'll go right leg forward, first left leg back, so feet, one, two inches apart. Right foot steps forward, we hinge. On the stick to your left shoulder. All right, slight knee bend on the right leg and a slight anterior tilt with the hips, okay? The stick's gonna be on the left shoulder, angled out. Left hand goes to the stick, right hand goes over top. Now I want you to hinge until you feel a stretch in the hamstring. Once you feel it, I want you to stop. I want you to give me 40% tension pushing down to the stick. With your front heel, I want you to think about pulling the ground toward you. We're gonna hold that for 20 seconds, 40%. All right, so it's a low effort, longer duration of time. Remember, nice long spine here, no rounding of the shoulders. Good, from here, let's give it, now it's 50% uh, effort, 10% harder, push into the floor, pull the ground toward you with that front heel. Should feel the hamstring activate a little bit more. Okay, now we're strengthening this range of the hamstring stretch. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. He's off, walk those hands up, we'll change sides. Left leg forward, right leg is back now. We're still getting dorsiflexion of the ankle, pull the toes to the shin, right hand to the stick, left hand goes over, slight arch in the lower back because you want to get the pelvis in a good position to stretch the hamstring, not the low back. Okay, slide. Pushing the hands into the stick, 40%. And again, you're pulling that ground toward you with that leg and the front heel. 40%, we're gonna hold for 20 seconds here. Same thing, nasal breathing, bring it in the diaphragm, not from the chest. Nice long spine, no round the shoulders. Five more seconds. And now let's go 50%. Push and to stick more, pull that ground toward you a little bit harder. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ease off. Walk the hands up. Bring it back to the right side. Right leg forward. Left hand over, right hand over. Slide. Now you should be able to get a little bit more hinge, a little more hamstring stretch now. Okay, and now again, let's hold. But now let's go 50% and we'll hold for the first 20 seconds. Same thing, we should, still shouldn't be that hard of an isometric. 50% should be able to hold for 20. Shoulders toward the hips, not shrugging. Shoulders toward those hips and back. You're still pulling that front heel toward you, You're pulling that ground toward you. 10 more seconds on the hold. And now it's 60% push. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He's off. Walk the hands up. Left leg now, last one. Last one on the regular standing hamstring. To add to that, we're going to add in some rotations. So you have you can implement the ninja flow and slap shot into that standing hamstring. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, some pelvic work from the supine position. Okay, right hand on, left hand over. Hinge a little bit deeper than last time. Again, shoulders down to the hips, not shrugging. Okay, not confused. Okay. Now let's hold, 50% effort, 20 seconds, pulling the ground toward you, pushing the hands into the stick. Nice long spine, and no rounded shoulders. Shoulders down toward those hips. With the breathing, be a little more relaxed. Sixty percent, ten seconds, and begin. Ten, pushing down, pulling in. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off. Walk those hands up. So that is that base level standing hamstring stretch. Now we're going to add in the slap shot first, and then the ninja flow. Stick goes to lower back or mid back. Okay, arms are fully extended. Let's go with the right leg forward. Same setup here, I'm gonna hinge. Slight arch from my left hand forward now. Bring it to the floor. And now, same thought process with that front heel. I'm gonna pull that front heel toward me and now pull the arms or the hands apart on the stick here. And now let's hold that 60% pull apart, pushing in with that heel for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release that left hand. And now we're gonna go right hand. Hinge first, pull apart the hands. Try and cross over that midline. Pull apart the hands, and now hold. Pull the heel toward you again, 60%, pull apart, and pull back with the heel. 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off. Go back to the left hand. Now we're going to push in on those hands. Okay, hinge. Left hand rotates across. Now push in with those hands. You're still going to pull the heel. That's going to give more tension to the hamstring. But now I want you to use your hands and push in. Okay, now hold for 10, 60%. Nine, eight, seven. Lean back into the hips. Five, four, three, two, one. Ease off. Show for the left quad, begin to work a little bit also, okay? And now again, right hand comes forward into rotation. Hands are gonna push in and pull that heel toward you, okay? Hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees off, switch feet. Left leg forward. Let's go right hand forward again though. Right hand forward, pull apart the hands, bring right hand down, pull apart the hands, 60%, pull that heel toward you for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, hinge, left arm coming forward. Pull apart with the hands, pull the heel toward you, and now hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the right hand, now we're gonna push in. Hinge first, and then get that stick to the ground. Push in with the hands, pull with the heel. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, hinge, left hand forward. If we can cross the midline here as far as you can, as long as you maintain balance and the pelvis stays neutral, pelvis stays stable. We don't want to shift side to side. Hands push in, and now you hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, ease off. Now let's go with stick. Let's go right leg forward. Stick's gonna be now in line to the heel, okay? I'm gonna hinge, when I hinge, I want the stick to stay vertical. I don't want it to go forward. So from the side view, even to the heel with the stick, and I'm gonna hinge. So it's very similar to that ninja lunge. And then I'm gonna reach across, and then I'm gonna push out. So from the front, okay, remember, I'm in that hinge, arm stay straight to the side, push down, get lateral line activated. Now I hinge. So I can also get a good pec stretch and a little T-spine rotation. Okay, a good bicep stretch. I'm gonna reach across. Without leaning my body, all I wanna do is create a little bit of push with the bottom arm. Okay, hold that for 10. Nine, eight, seven, Six, still pull that front heel toward you. Five, four, three, two, one. Now the bottom hand pull into your midline. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, he's off. Now, as we push out, I want you to internally rotate your femur. So I want you to rotate your leg toward your midline. When we pull in, we're gonna externally rotate. First one we push, and now internally rotate right femur. Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull in, externally rotate right femur. Hold, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease off, release the hand, stand up, change sides. Left leg forward, again, even to your heel, about forehead height, and then we hinge. Push down, hinge. 
reach for the inside of that foot. Now reach the right hand across. Pushing down still with that top arm. I'm gonna push out. If it's closer to you, you have to create more tension. So that'll make it a little bit harder. That's your progression. All right, farther away is your regression, closer to your midline is your progression. Now let's pull in on that bottom hand. On this next one, we're gonna internally rotate that left femur as we push. So go ahead and rotate, and now hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, go ahead and pull it, externally rotate, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Ease off, release the hand, stand up, let's bring it down to the floor. And now we work on the pelvis for the final part of today's class. And this is going to be a good one to even out the pelvis, right? So a lot of times, you'll think you have one longer leg, not always the case. Maybe the hips are just out of place. So here's what we're gonna do, go onto your back. And now we're gonna place the stick underneath the right leg, but over top the left leg. So if you see from the back here, it's underneath the right leg, but it's over the left leg. So one leg is going to be working on more hip extension. The other one is going to be working on more hip flexion. All right. So we're going to work this at 60% effort. So we're here. I'm going to work my right leg in extension. So I'm pushing forward. And my left leg in flexion. So I'm pushing back. But I want the stick to be level the entire time. And the feet, same height. They won't be even, right? Because... I have one leg more into flexion, one leg more into extension to start. All right, head to the floor. We're gonna go 10 seconds here. The stick is level, and now begin. So one leg pushes, one leg pulls. 10, lower back to the floor, squish the marshmallow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ease off. So again, whatever leg is, on top of the stick here is going to push. Whatever leg's below the stick here, I'm going to pull back. One more time on this side, and then we'll switch. All right, here we go. Feet are level. The stick is straight. Okay? And now begin. Push, pull. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ease off. Let's change. Left leg now is on top, right leg now is below, okay? And now feet are level, same thing, stick is in line, and it's straight, and now begin. Push, pull, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ease off. Okay, last one. And that's going to conclude our class for today. And now again, push, pull, hold for 10, 9, ab sight, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ease off. So, great class today, guys. Again, a lot of hamstring work, and then finish off with some good pelvic work, all right? See me again next Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. Uh, stay tuned, check out my page, Jared underscore DYM. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out more videos on the website as well. I'm gonna be hosting a uh, hybrid stick mobility class uh, on Sunday. So look at my page for more info on that. All right, see you guys soon, take care.